Hey there, my name is Moala. Welcome to my tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to talk about before X pages. First, I want to speak about why do we need before X pages? And then, in an example, we will talk about how to go from one page to another page. Stay tuned. Normally, we do like this, one activity and one layout for it and then another activity and another layout for it, and it goes on. It might be a good idea, but only for small apps, not big ones. Let me give you one example. For example, Amazon application. The user is watching the list of items and products. Now he is clicking on one item. There is a list of related products on the bottom of the page. Now the user is clicking on one and then from that item to another item, and then again from that one to another product. And what happens if the user is going from one page to another page for an hour? Actually, we are creating endless activities and endless layouts, which makes the application so heavy for the phone. So how can we solve the problem? In Java, we can use Fragment. And in before X and before A, we can use pages library to solve the problem. But how does pages library work? Here, you have only one activity. And from that activity, you run each page. Each page is simply a class. And each page can have one layout. Let's see how to deal with it in one real example. Now, I'm going to create a project based on pages library. Before a pages is one of the default project templates that you can select. And it needs a name for the project. As you see, pages library has been activated here. And inside main activity, page manager has been defined and initialize in activity create. Let's run the application to see what we have so far. There is only one layout with one button. And where is that layout loaded? Is that in main activity? No. Main activity is not main page of your application anymore. You can only define page manager inside main activity. And the main page of your application will be before x main page and you can load your main layout there so remember before x main page without a space and without underline and you cannot rename that that is the first page of your application let's look at before x main page you have before x page underline created instead of activity create and instead of activity dot load layout you have root dot load layout so we want to go to second page once we click on the bottom in previous layout so first we need to create another page and one corresponding layout for it so from project menu i'm going to click on before x page class Let's name it page two underline C. C here indicates that this is a kind of class. We need a layout for page two, so let's create it. To show that this is page two, we can put one label on the layout and some text on that. Page 2 layout. And we can load our layout here. Root dot load layout and then the name of the layout we just created. 
Now it's time to go to previous page and show the second page once the user click on the button. There are three steps left. Defining page two as a variable, adding variable to before x pages. Before x pages is accessible in all over your project. And we will talk more about it in following tutorials. The last thing is to ask before x pages to show our page. Let's do them. First, I'm going to define a variable out of page two class. Then I'm going to initialize it at the end of pages underline create. And then it needs to be added to before x pages. Before x pages dot add page needs two parameters, an ID that very soon we will use it, and then the name of class variable. Now it is almost ready. We can show the page by using before x pages and giving that ID to it. I'm going to do it inside click event of the button. First, I need to comment the previous code. Let's run the application and see if it works. As you see, it is working properly. Please subscribe to my channel and follow my other tutorials about Before X Pages library. Thank you for watching.